Okay guys, and welcome back to day four of our 30 day PIGO challenge. So one of the things I uh, prefaced yesterday was uh, doing these drills in a very slow motion and then hold from the positions, you'll go slow motion. Then we're gonna hold for about eight to 10 seconds. If you cannot hold those positions that long, let's say you have neck issues, elbow, back issues, whatever, that's okay. You just go at your pace. You know, it could be four seconds, five seconds. As long as we're holding and maintaining them for, for some sort of duration. If you can go eight to 10 seconds, great. That's, that's what we're looking for. So today what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate four positions, okay? We're going to go again from address to impact, from impact to post-impact, from post-impact to through swing, and here's going to be the next challenge to take those three and then add the element of a finish where we just take our swing trainer here and we just take it, we'll pull it around us and we're going to hold this position. You're going to see a lot of red right there. You're also going to see your right wrist is still bent being a right-handed player. And one thing you're going to notice is that swing trainer is looking back at that golf ball that we just hit. So when we come through all these hold positions, 8 to 10, 8 to 10, 8 to 10. This one and through here, when we go to finish, you're going to want to be able to, again, tap your toe to make sure that we have maintained our, our body uh, moving towards the target and taking everything to the target and not falling back in our swing. So that'll be your ending point right there. Show a lot of red on your swing trainer, and that right wrist will be nice and bent for you and pronated right there at that position there, looking back at the golf ball, tap your toe, you have done it correctly. So on this one in here, because we have four different hold positions, we're only gonna do 10 reps, just 10 reps of these, one, two, three, and then four. When you get up to the finish position, at, at that point, we are starting to come up out of posture. I'm not asking you guys to stay down that long. If you can do it, that's fine. It's just that at some point in time, we're going to start to come up and out. And, and I don't want to have anyone have any type of injuries or back issues doing this. So do it at your own pace. But that's the ending position that we're looking for. That's it. 10 reps, day four. We'll catch you back tomorrow for day five of our PIGO 30-day hitting zone swing trainer challenge.